And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some mono blue devotion in standard. This was another uh, viewer submitted deck. I haven't played this one before, but it looks pretty sweet. We're going to be trying to get as many, as much blue devotion in play as possible. If you're kind of unfamiliar with devotion. It's the mana symbols in the top right hand corner. See how Gadwick has three blue mana symbols, so it has three devotion. Uh, Brazen Borrower has two, so it has two devotion, and so on. We want to get as many as much blue devotion in play as possible. Um, Arcanist Owl does count as four blue devotion, so that's a lot. Our payoffs for having a lot of blue devotion is first and foremost Nyx Lotus that enters the battlefield tapped. This is my first time going to be playing a Nyx Lotus deck. We're going to be able to tap it, choose blue, and then add amounts of mana equal to our devotion to blue. So you know, if we have ten devotion to blue, Nyx Lotus will add ten mana. Pretty awesome. Um, we have Corridor Monitor that can untap the Nyx Lotus for us. We also have Kiora that can untap the Nyx Lotus as well. So we can use those to add lots of mana. With lots of mana, we're casting a large Gadwick, drawing lots of cards. We, we can play just multiple bodies, including like Cavaliers of Gales, Arcanist Owl, and stuff like that. Of course, we're ramping into Agent of Treachery that we can flicker with Thassa. And so, you know, like we just get a lot of stuff in play and either beat our opponent down with like Cavaliers of Gales, Arcanist Owl, and Thassa and attack them um, and Brazen Borrower. Or if we get enough, um, if we get enough devotion and we draw enough cards with Gadwick, we can also use Thassa's Oracle to win the game if our devotion to blue is greater than the number of cards in library. That's our deck. So it looks pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and uh, play this deck. We're going to, I'm going to play it through a league. You know, I haven't played this deck before. I want to just kind of try it out here. So we're going to play it through a league, play till we win uh, five or lose two, whatever happens first. So let's get started. Again, uh, another just kind of reminder at the beginning of these videos, if you're watching, if you are a YouTube watcher, the, uh, the records, I'm taking off the records, so no spoilers for them, for you, if you like watching the videos out of order. If you want to know, if you're watching this later, I've played all the decks of the day, and you want to know all the, the records, if you're someone that wants to know them, you know, obviously you can click on each video and, and scroll to the end, but then also the last video of the day that I, that I upload, I'll have the records of um, all of the decks for that day in the video description. Yeah, finale. So what about the blue finale? Yeah, blue finale could absolutely do some work in the deck. Um, hmm. This is weird. Um, I need more land. I, I'm not going to keep the Cavalier of Gales. That's going to go down. But I kind of want to keep Gadwick because Gadwick is just such a strong card. I'm going to keep Gadwick. Yeah, whenever you have, whenever you your deck's running on all cylinders and you have Nyx Lotus adding mana and then, yeah, untapping it and everything like that, then absolutely um, Finale is a great card to have. possible I should just be holding up Mystical Dispute now. I kind of want the Gadwick in play where I can, you know, Brazen Borrower, bounce bounce stuff, tap other things. But maybe I should just be Mystical Disputing. Frisky Biscuits! Third slot tomorrow, please. Feel free to tear it apart. Cyborg needs some work. Awesome! Thank you there, Frisky Biscuits. Um, one problem, though, is I actually have... Uh, Kendis had a donation deck for third slot Wednesday. So my only slot that I have taken tomorrow is the third slot. Do you have... Um, I need more lands. Okay, second slot's fine. Okay, that's what I was going to say. If you, Candice is usually on the stream early, too, so, like, maybe he'll want the second slot. But if he said, say the second slot's fine, too, then cool. Okay. 
So Trawler Arcbow. Perfect. So Ban Arcbow. So Dream Trawler. Uro. I like it. You know, putting the Pulp Collector back in hand so that it goes down to being just a 1-1 one, one again. I would love to play Nyx Lotus. I really want to play Nyx Lotus. Yeah, we just play Nyx Lotus. The reason why I'm just kind of thinking, because like this is a really good turn to um, Mystical Dispute and try to counter, because they can only attack with the Warden if they have another creature with power 4 or greater. And so, presumably, a creature power 4 or greater costs a lot of mana. Alright, so then I have five, six, seven. I don't really have anything that I want to age in a treachery right now. Wants to use this Nyx land first all the time. Definitely get rid of that. Do I even want a Thassa's Oracle? No. I guess we're just going to take this thing. All right. I just didn't have much. Um, I did not consider putting in Alter the Pantheon for the deck. This I, I did not make this deck. Um, yes, yeah, so why not Thassa's Intervention? I don't know. Like, I think I'd rather play Finale than Thassa's Intervention. I'd rather have that ability to draw lots of cards. We're not really an instant speed deck too much. All right, so I'm definitely taking out the Mystical Disputes. We'll put in these Aether Gusts. Um, I think I'm going to take out some Brazen Borrowers and just have Aether Gusts instead of Brazen Borrower.
Yeah, bringing in some stone coils. Yeah, they could have. They could definitely have shifting ceratops. <clears throat> so we have ether gust and S stone coil for the ceratops. You do not want to flicker stone coil. It will come back as a zero zero. I want the serpent to at least be a three three at the very least. Um, I don't want it to die to shock. But ideally, 4-4 four, four bigger you call it anarchy. because of Ceratops. Just another day. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Okay, just got done playing against the Dream Trawler deck and Stone Coral Serpent saved you. Nice. Okay, good. We have either Gus this turn, so I don't have to Serpent. We won't answer all the kills. If I lead with Thassa, the next turn I could play Cavalier of Gales and then turn on Thassa. But I probably need to block. Putting Thassa back, because it's my enchantment, so I can play, next turn I can play Owl, grab Thassa. That doesn't matter. Obviously. I was going to say, I don't have six mana, so I could get to Aether Gust also. Extra borrow, we're back in. Nick's let us, Nick's let us out. An extra borrow back in a corridor. No, corridor monitor is good. It would be a Thassa out. <clears throat> I guess we'd want these borrowers to do some bouncing just to slow slow down the gruel player. So we got bar borrowers and ether gusts. Do some bouncing. Let's draw lands. You change the av I should change the avatar. After this, go to like Mu Yanling. We can get the, our true mono blue feel.
Just slowing him down. Draw land. Yeah. Playing the <clears throat> Thassa, hoping we draw land that I can play Cavalier and then and also flicker with the Thassa. Yeah, we're doing a better job of drawing lands for sure. That's good. You think I'm a crazy beast? Where do you see my mates? Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Could have just played a Gadwick there as a 3-3. I guess I would have turned on Thassa and Thassa would have killed Domri. Oh, I guess I maybe should have done that. <clears throat> I don't know if killing Domri is really that important, though. I've lived like with that animals specific turn. Explains a lot, actually. But I probably should have just done it. Ouch, this is a tough one. If they kill Cavalier, you know, we're going to shuffle these cards back. We'll definitely shuffle back the island, but then after that, I guess the monitor. But the monitor is pretty sweet with the Lotus. But, I mean, I want to keep Aethergust and Gadwick, so, and the Lotus, so. Oh, right. We get to do this again anyway. So we'll see. Cool. Two islands. No, our deck doesn't have a Mu Yanling. That's a good avatar, though. Scry. Yes. I would like those cards. Yeah, we definitely have this. They have no more cards in hand. <clears throat> Alright, how are we going to do this? Are we going to Agent of Treachery first? Or Gadwick first? How do we want to do it? I guess we'll Agent of Treachery first. No! We didn't get to do a big Gadwick.
That next close is going to add so much mana. Five of it. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to just steal both our creatures. Flicker the Agent Treachery. The Thassa of Treachery. That is a combo. <clears throat> Thassa of Treachery. Oh, I didn't change my avatar. Darn. I always forget about that. Like, right after the match, I'm like, that was fun. Let's play another match. And then I forget to change the avatar. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're probably right, Rex. No matter either card that we played, opponent's probably going to be conceding. If we played Gadwick, we would have drawn a lot of cards. Then we would have flickered the 1-4 and untapped the Nyx Lotus. That would have been able to add a lot of mana on their turn if we had any instant speed stuff. And these cards kind of look silly together. It's like we don't have any creatures power 4 or greater to uh, to draw a card with Kiora. We don't have any creatures that do any flickering with Asa. Catato. Maybe that? Catato? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for that resub. Our fits of the day. Um, I really don't like this Transcendent Envoy in our opponent's deck. It's definitely my least favorite card in their deck. Scry. Played against this deck yesterday, and it just doesn't seem like a very good card. The rest of the cards are pretty good. You know, it's got some good, other good stuff. This is just basically a waste of the card. It's basically my opponent mulligan to six with having that in hand. Hmm. Do I have time for Nyx Lotus? Obviously, we're not keeping both. Do I even have time for the other one? Maybe not. Yeah, so if we play Kiora this next turn, and then we play... Like, if I play Kiora, and then the next turn the Lotus, we'd be able to untap the Lotus and add two mana, so we're not doing anything else. So I'd be playing Kiora, which doesn't stop this, then Lotus, which doesn't stop this. Like, by that time, I'm, I'm basically just dead. Especially if they have, like, any, any auras or pump spells or anything. I just don't have time to do that. Next question is, do I even have time to play Kiora, or do I just play Gadwick for zero? For zero. I got pass. What makes it so bad? It's a two-drop flyer that makes auras cheaper. Because the the whole two-drop flyer thing, it's not... This is not a good enough card for standard being a 1-2. This ability isn't making it a good enough card. A 1-2 is just so easily ignored. It doesn't 
Like if it was a two one, at least it could you know it could be attacking for two in the air. Now we're talking one power for the creature. It's not it's not strong enough. Two mana card that attacks for one. Like there's a reason why we don't just have like Fibble Thips in a lot of decks. Like that's just not a very valuable body. Speaking of Fibble Thip though, why does this deck not have Fibble Thip in it? That could flicker. Fibble tip. That was not the time to use that card. I'm glad they did, but that was not the time to use that card. If I play Thassa, I just die. I'm dead on the spot if I play Thassa. Because if I play Thassa, I can't block the, the one power flyer. Which does one damage to me, and then they they sack the Alci to give the the Bronze Hide Lion Pro Blue. That's five five damage I can't block. So if I played Thassa, I would have just died. My opponent could have played this better. Now I need that Nyx Lotus. Didn't quite stay alive. Almost. But not quite. Almost. So it seemed like a pretty good Agent of Treachery matchup. Of course, we, I guess we have to get there, though. No, it's a it's okay. I don't think you really need the fable passages. It's okay. Um, yeah, even though we had the lotuses at the bottom, I, that's fine. We didn't really need Nick's lotus. Yeah, our boat nice was pretty fun to play. We had some mana troubles with our last couple of games that we lost. Um, you know, a mixture of mana troubles and playing against ramp decks that just had, like, of us struggling to hit land drops and then 
playing against ramp decks that all they're doing is playing lots of lands and big stuff it um that's where we you know lost our matches but we got to do we had some really good games some really close games um and just some some pretty sweet games before that either gust does have a couple of targets but not enough that i really want to play it but it does have a couple of good targets now i gotta just put this back for right now need lands Yep. And it is it is up on YouTube now. But yeah, you can watch it later. Watch the model blue now. I don't know why I'm playing that. <laughs> I kind of was, you know, talking and stuff. I forgot that I had a two drop, honestly. Usually need more than one land. Not, not, yeah, the last two Arcbow games are not, not so good. We, we played against a couple of ramp decks that just went over the top of us, but, uh, big mana decks, but we had a, like, lost two game, like, one game each time because we just didn't have any lands. We got stuck on, like, two lands. I don't, I don't think 24 lands is enough at all with that deck. I wouldn't be comfortable playing 24. E even, I know, like, they count the flowers, like, the 25th, but I, still would play another land so how many fours and fives and stuff like that there are and how much card advantage there is all right so we got a free win there with the opponent not keeping any lands Um, we need, yeah, I mean, I think I have 25 plus the flower, honestly. I, th I think that's more of a 26 land deck with how high the, cur with all those five drops with the Elspeth Conqueror's deaths and everything, like that curve, I, I really think that needs to be 26 mana. Yeah, we had 25 before, but then I was also playing like those those two drops that also helped get you more lands. Ugh. We have to block because if I don't block, they have like something to give this pro blue. Then I'm just taking lethal. I guess I'm really not going to be able to protect against a pro blue thing. So I'm just going to go for my best turn. Like, 
Yeah, the mono red game was really sweet. Jeez. Well, that's a pro blue thing. GG's. <laughs> Alright, we need to change our profile. That's that's why we struggled there. Many have challenged me over we the weren't ages. blue enough. Okay. I had a, I had shifting ceratops as something that could that could block the or sorry I had, had stone coral serpent as something that could block shifting ceratops but um, we could use some fibble tips in here. Just a nice two drop. That helps you hit land drops. Yeah, Ceratops obviously is just... Uh, it's obviously just a nightmare. Protection from blue. And my... Both the games that my opponent won, they won by swinging with a protection from blue creature. It's just... It's just a nightmare for us. Hey Terry, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Hope you enjoy all the awesome emotes and everything. Thank you very much. My best block against the very obvious Ember Cleave. Playing creatures to block is not really good enough against a whole bunch of Ember Cleaves.
Yeah, I could definitely see that, Borderland Ranger, that the the Arcbow Knight deck being even stronger in a best of one where there is a lot less ramp. Where you see a lot more uh, control in mono red. I like that. I can't survive Embercleave on Annex. I feel like a cool top end. But we do have a lot of cards that aren't very good. Hmm. I think Stone Coil Serpent is just something they can kind of block. But um, the Rakdos discard is probably better in best of three. Yeah, I think that's probably better in best of three. Um, maybe I don't want Serpent. So if I don't play Nyx Lotus or Serpent, how's this? I guess Serpent's probably just better than Corridor Monitor if we're not playing Nyx Lotus. But I guess Corridor Monitor we get to grab off of Arcanist, but so does so is Serpent. Serpent's not a pip for Thassa. Actually, Serpent's probably better than Thassa's Oracle. I should take out Thassa's Oracle, keep Corridor Monitor. Hey, Mai Tai Tai. Oh, thanks, Terry. Subbed for the Final Fantasy song. That's awesome. Thank you. And Pedrin, thanks for the host. Yeah, the if you steal an equipped creature, the equipment is still attached to the creature. The original owner of the equipment <clears throat> still owns it and can then re-equip it to other stuff, but it stays it doesn't it stays attached. However, they can spend the man the other person can spend the mana and re-equip. I want Frogify. I want Frogify to target Annex or Torbran. So Steamkin, I can just Ether Gust, Brazen Borrower, stuff like that. Aggro. <laughs> All right, have a good night, Storm. Wow, Lava Coil, the cord corridor monitor. That's rude.
I guess I should, I should have progified first. I would have looked at another card, but oh well. Do I even want to play Arcadus Owl? Next turn. Do I just want a fifth land and then play? I just want fifth land. Play a Brazen Borrower and Ether Gust something. I guess I could have attacked for one, that thing can't block. I missed one point of damage. Had nothing. They had nothing. Okay, we got one game against Mono Red with Mono Blue. It's going to be a lot more difficult getting a game on the draw. But we'll see if we can do it. This is mid-range. Not tempo. Tempo is a more aggressive strategy. Yeah, I think Agent helps us take over in the late game. I, try, I think we need the power of Agent of Treachery, honestly. I think Agent of Treachery does a good job of... Um, does a good job of helping us turn the corner. Now we need another land. I was hoping to curve Ether Gust into Gadwick into Arcanus Owl, but I don't even know if that curve's good enough. I guess I'm bouncing the Steamkin instead of playing the Gadwick. Get a spell. 
They gotta land. I need to land though. Uh I guess if they have nothing but land in hand for the rest of the game, we're still dead next turn. Well, that's a spell. Very dead. All right, so we have one and two. Um, there's like some good stuff here. Definitely felt like some. There were some good cards. I think this deck's better in best of one. Mono red seems like like a matchup that's probably one of the most difficult matchups, and mono red is all over best of one. That'd be a, that's what I'd be worried about with this deck. Um, no mystical dispute is fine. Kiora, the Kiora doesn't seem very necessary. Nyx Lotus. Nyx Lotus seems like a one of, maybe a two of, but I guess you need like a good amount of artifacts and enchantments for Arcanist Owl. Did seem like we need just just need Fibble Thips. Omen of the Sea is awesome. I'm surprised like we're playing three Omen of the Sea. Uh, Fibble is FB, right? Yeah. I want something like that. Like I want, I want more two mana cards that help me hit land drops, and Fibbletip can just be a blocker. It's a great card to flicker with Th uh, Thassa. Just seems like it should definitely be in here. Um, I don't know if there's any. You know, like I said, like I haven't played this deck before. I don't know if there's any, any real like removal spells in blue that you can be playing. I mean, Frogify was fine. Just didn't have. I guess you could. You can go Sir Eulen Drakes. You know, we talked about that before. Maybe just play more Frogifies because that's something you can hit with Arcanist also. It's not like it's not like there's people like yeah, Frogify is probably pretty good. Yeah, maybe you should just have the disputes in the sideboards and just have all these Frogifies over here. Honestly. You don't really need Kiora. So tiny. I think I like Frogify more. There's creatures that... You know, a lot of creatures have just amazing abilities and stuff. Just turning it into, like, and turning stuff into 1-1s. One -ones. I think Frogify is just a good card. And, yeah, it just gives you more targets for the Arcanist Owl.
Could have Ashiok's Erasure for Shifting Ceratops. Like if, if you if you want something for Shifting Ceratops, you can go with that. It's obviously difficult to set up though, but it also counts as Blue Devotion. But of course, like I said, it's a difficult thing to set up. But there's there's some good stuff here. I think just playing all these frogifies in the main and playing some fibble tips, I could honestly help out. Um, do you even need corridor monitor? Maybe you don't actually need corridor monitor. Fibble tips good. Play another one of those. Play another oracle. Probably don't need monitor. <clears throat> um yeah erasures yeah i mean if you get anything with erasure it's good could maybe play some erasures in the sideboard i do like the sideboard jace or could see honestly playing jace in the main actually Instead of the third Fibble that play a fourth Gadwick. Yeah. Yeah, this deck should just be a 4x Gadwick. Definitely. Having four Gadwicks makes it easier just to play the Gadwick, like play a Gadwick earlier, too. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is a, the best Ether Gust deck. Maybe, maybe it's Sir Eulen Drake instead of Ether Gust, but then you, you don't have Ether Gust against Simic. I want more negate in the sideboard and I want more and I want some erasures, but I don't know how you really fit both of those in. I think I do like having access to all four agent of treacheries, especially against the slow decks. So maybe that's just the, the plan. And you just don't play the negate, play an erasure there or play or, you know, play the negate. Yeah, Sember Cleave and Bone Crusher Giant make This deck doesn't have like answers to planeswalkers really does it, just Agent of Treachery. I guess Brazen Borrower. They gotta play Negate. Stone Coral Serpent can just be a a good size blocker against aggro decks, but then also gives you something in the mono blue colors to stop shifting ceratops. Um, I guess it's good against Dream Trawler, I suppose, but it seems like it would just die to something else against the Dream Trawler deck. Could just see playing a third Stone Coil Serpent instead of the Negate, also. Um,. So let's alter the Pantheon. Is that... No. No. That is not, not strong enough for standard. At least... Like, basically, you like, this isn't, like, while your opponent's playing, like, really good cards, and then you just, like, play this thing and take an entire turn to play this thing. Like, Nyx Lotus is pretty rough taking an entire turn to play this also, but Nyx Lotus has the ability to add an absurd amount of mana and make up for it. This just adds one mana. No. Don't need that thing. Like, that, that's not better than anything here in the deck. But yeah, so there we go. So that's what I'd recommend. I'd, I'd say just get this fourth Omen of the Sea, get the fourth Gadwick. Like, these cards are awesome. Get get these in here. Get some Fibble Thips. Hit, like, actually, like, hit land drops, smooth out your draws, curve out better. Like, these these 
these cards let let you curve out and then get frogifies in here like it's frogifies just fine get those in the main <clears throat> uh, I don't like gar like gargoyle is not a very good blocker because yeah you, you you play your cards and then it doesn't doesn't block I've I've just been really unimpressed every single time I've ever had gar Vantress gargoyle every time I've played Vantress gargoyle I've not liked it <clears throat> um all right so there we go so that's mono blue devotion those of y'all watching on YouTube, give the deck a try. Leave those comments. Let me know how they're going, especially like, like these changes. Let me know what, what you think of the changes. Uh, you know, leave those comments. What do you think about playing Fibblethip, Frogify, stuff like this in here? Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's all I got here. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.